I'm Alan Henderson, a broker at Henderson Real Estate. Welcome to the Ahwatukee History Project. In today's episode, Marty interviews a renowned landscape architect, A. Wayne Smith. Mr. Smith designed the master plan for the original Ahwatukee Retirement Community, Mountain Park Ranch, the Foothills, and Club West. In this episode, A. Wayne Smith discusses the development of Ocotillo and Leroy Smith's management of the John Wayne cattle operations. I'm intrigued by the Ocotillo development to the southeast of Ahwatukee. Uh, for those who aren't familiar with it, can you give us a little bit about the background and how it got to become the uh, very attractive community it is today? Uh, oh, you say uh, Ocotillo. Ocotillo. Um, that was, um, fortunately, in, in the beginning, the, uh, uh, the, the owners of the land really were, again, very, very sensitive um, people, and they wanted something unusual. But the, I guess the strongest part of that is the city of Chandler was at their ends for having enough to ever expand because they had no place to put their effluent from their, their, their sewer systems. And because they have an Indian reservation on the south and one on the west. And the Indian reservation, water always goes down. Generally, that seems to be a, a statement that can be uh, verified. And all of the effluent from Chandler would go down, and Okatia happened to be the most southwesterly elevation in Chandler. And we utilized there as a, a um, I, I think, a strong point that we, uh, the Bogle family were very sensitive and said, okay, we will be the repository of all of your effluent if we can put them in the lakes. And so the, um, the city uh, put a treatment plant there. It's a tertiary treatment plant, and the water is very pure, and that's how it, it formed. Uh, and I think that was one of the, uh, they had the, uh, the ball diamond there, the, the spring training. Mm -hmm. They had lots of uh, employment. They, too, um, tried to incorporate we did uh, employment so people could live and, and uh, work in the same immediate area. And, of course, the, the Bogle family owned, what was it, a 5,000-acre farm? Yes. The landowners? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and uh, there was plenty of room to expand. Yeah. And, uh, uh, again, Mr. Smith bought a section of land adjacent to it and expanded it even a little bit more. So, uh, it, uh, Leroy Smith sounds like quite a visionary, huh? Well, for a, a little alfalfa farmer, uh, yes, he, <laughs> he came here, and uh, interestingly enough, he bought a sizable amount of land uh, in Maricopa, and he was raising, contract raising cattle for John Wayne, which um, a lot of people probably didn't know, and they're probably happy that they're not down there because the odor <laughs> was quite prevalent. <laughs> and uh, but that went by the wayside. But anyway, um, Mr. Smith, uh, he, he sort of had a, a good knowledge of where things might be happening. Yeah, he was always one step ahead. It sounds yes, like. Yeah, he seemed to have a good feeling. But uh, no, he was a a very wonderful gentleman to work with. 